Uh. Hey folks, welcome back. Well, that's kind of just a nice morning. It's a Monday. Uh, as you can tell, he's kind of gotten overgrown <laughs> by the wellhouse. And for me to not take a chance of getting snake bit, I'm going to weed it.
Go over here because that's where I'm working next. Because, like I said, well, right where this is, is going to be a shed. Shed or full of garage or something of that nature. Yep. Back of this truck here to be burned. There for that. <sighs> that was good work, Nicky. <laughs> Yeah. 
Never had too many of these. Every time I see those, I buy them at the outlet mall, yard sales, whatever. stools like this anymore. Believe it or not, this one actually hold me. That metal thing will hold me. I don't like the new ones. You see today. Clean it off. 
Armor's my guy. Well, I'm gonna show it to you, but he disappeared on me. during all weekend but now it's during the week I guess it's Mother Nature's day to take a day off from blowing some wind <laughs> I eat my hoggy eat wash yeah man it's right your home too bad so sad I'm gonna tear it up unless you keep it Let's see how 
start to do with a weed eater on. I know a whole lot more. It's got the same thickness string as the one of mine in a steel. But I don't think it's made of durable. I can't get the gas in the fire up. I know you'll probably take care of that big thing.
day for a weed eater. You just snip right on in there. Well, ran out of options, ain't it? Neighbor doing something with some panels or something over there. I don't know what I can do. Get the cars I can out here and get the truck load up and moved and the garbage burnt. I said hurry up and do the driveway. So I guess that's gonna be it for this video because now I gotta load all that up into that truck and move that truck where it'll be out of the way of the tractor in a few days. And then load the mower on that trailer and hook it up. I'm going to mow my cousin's yard this week. I'm trying to let that store up. Turn it over. I ain't paying. I ain't paying about $200 for a push mower. Why can't they be about $100? Honestly. Be right back. Hey, Mike. Hey, back this direction this is gonna be blowing off the push mower that was buried in the weeds yeah I ain't paying almost two hundred dollars for this style push mower <laughs> Grass off of it. Get my 
can, I'll have it anyways. And then I'll like pull it. Well, I'll See if we can sit on tailgate for a little bit, shall we? And all that will get stung. <laughs> Don't want that right now. <clears throat> oh yeah. So I want to a quick uh, film of this uh, this truck here. Well, I'll tell you about it. It's a uh, the It's a 2000 model Chevrolet C3500. The C means it's two wheel drive. 3500 means it's the one ton version. If anyone don't know, it's uh, got a 350 in it. I wish I had the 454 really because of the size of the truck. But yeah, it's got a 350 in it, automatic, it's long wheelbase. The tire wheels and tires are from, I think, 2017 or newer, because they're 17s, not the 16s, which is supposed to be on it. It's a nice crew cab. Doors all open up like they should. Don't mind the mess in there. Like I said, it's been sitting for a little while, so it's kind of became storage. Seats open up good on it. Oh, look, there's a tree frog. Yeah, one of your little buddies got stuck in the other truck's door and he didn't make it, sadly to say. Oh, look. This is the, this is the, this is the frog truck. <laughs> the seats have a 94 GMC and so is the steering column don't worry I'm going to shut the door in a minute now no it has no carpet or flooring which is alright it used to be a roofing truck all season roofing and like I said I think it's came out of Arkansas I put the tow mirrors on it because of the size truck it is but yeah it's got the 350 in it and yeah it needs a I need to put a blower motor in it again it needs to the brake hydro booster replaced. I think the power steering also needs replaced. This booster, I think, leaks around that thing that looks like a filter back there. You can see it. That roundish cylinder. But I haven't drove it here lately. I'll start it up every now and then. I think she, every time it rains, she's getting gas, getting water in the fuel tank. Because I think the fuel tank's rusted out on the top. But it's a good truck. 
I think it has a little over 227,000 miles on it. Still runs like a dream. That one does too. I think this thing zoomed in, ain't it? Oh well. But these are both good trucks. That's a good Jeep, and that's a good tractor. I'm going to use that tractor here soon and bush hog before I use the box plate on it. Going to bush hog those blackberry bars back there in the very back. I'm going to try to get a video on that too. Like I said, I got to figure out how to set up the can. I got to set up my phone where I'll catch pretty much everything I bush hog from one spot if I can. As soon as I get on that thing, I can't start it up till I get on it because because of my size, I kind of bump the shifter and I don't want it to pop into gear while I'm trying to get on and off it. But anyways, this has been a, almost a 30, 40 minute video. I'm going to pop y'all up here on the tiny cover. I'm going to make a video on taking this off too because this is going to be my firewood hauling truck this year. That one there, I'm going to sit the firewood in where it's off the ground. The same with that four-wheel drive we got in the bare back. They're both coming up front to put firewood in. How's my hat look? <laughs> All right, my hand's in the way. I ain't going downwards. I did want to give a big shout out and a thank you to all my new subscribers. I think I get well over 600. 600. I didn't think I'd make it that far. But like I said, I want to, my goal is to get over 1,200 by the end of the year, if possible. If you could like, share, comment, subscribe, all the good thumbs up I can get, all the good comments. I appreciate every single one of them. <clears throat> and like I said, I'm going to try to load this up later today or first thing in the morning with all that garbage I just pulled out of there. Probably later today because I need to get the mower on the trailer today. And uh, I'm going to back it up and load up all the garbage and take care of that this week this week sometime as long as weather's permitting if it's too hot too dry i ain't going to i get that couch out of the walkway that I brought out here i want to say thank you for all my new subscribers and all my old ones and keep them coming i appreciate every single one of you right now i'm going to Get off here, go inside, cool off after no air stirring while I'm out here. <laughs> and make sure I ain't got any ants on me because I know there's some ants over there. And, uh, I mean, that's cool drink. Then we'll probably go to town and get some lunch. Uh, once again, hope y'all have a great week. I'm gonna get this loaded up as soon as I possibly can. It's a Monday. And as slow as the service has been here lately, I'll probably be Wednesday before it comes out. <laughs> I'm hoping whenever we start getting some of these trees gone, I'll help a little bit with the service. There's about 20 acres of trees here, so they're kind of blocking a lot. But anyways, thank y'all for coming with me, coming along. And I hope y'all have a great, wonderful week. And let's see what we can do here in a little bit. Be safe out there, y'all. Thank you.